What's up y'all, Jason over here at Cocky Farm, and today we're gonna start working on the goat pen or the extra goat pen that we're gonna keep the bugs in. We're gonna take y'all along with us today. Let's go. So if you're new to the channel and don't know, we got an old tree house that we got for free that we're gonna chat, well, we're gonna actually just convert into the goat house where the, uh, the bucks will have somewhere to go when it rains and shelter or gets cold or whatever. We'll have them a spot for them to go. But it needs a little bit of work. We gotta get the roof replaced on it. And it's got a couple of boards that are rotting on it. And that's why I'm trying to figure out now exactly what we need. Because we're headed to the lumber yard. So we're fixing to head to the lumber yard and pick up, uh, well, main thing is, is we're going after uh, roofing, some metal roof. And we, we go to the salvage side and pick up metal roof that's been cut that wasn't used or was brought back, so it's an odd size. So if we can find some that'll work, it'll be a huge score because it's like a third of the price. So we're back from the hardware store in the lumber yard, we got everything we needed. Now what I'm going to do with this is, is I'm going to change the roof design up. I mean, I don't know who built this thing, but I'm no carpenter by all means. But this wasn't no carpenter either. But it's going to be a good goat house. But I don't like the roof, so I'm going to take this roof all the way off. And we're just going to do just standard old straight slanted roof. Man, this humidity. It is somewhere in over 100 degrees heat index today with 100% humidity. Welcome to Alabama. It is a scorcher. I got my cooler today. I'm uh, gonna stay hydrated the best I can and probably take several breaks because it is a hot one. Tip, gonna get you fixed up, cuz. Of course, we're separating our goats for obvious reasons, the males and the females. going to use these they're like deck blocks but I really like these things for small structures like this it's just way easier for me especially the fact that this thing is already existing so this is gonna make life way easier just now I gotta try to get a level yes sir boom that was probably my my biggest hurdle was trying to get it level on this hill Super stoked about that. The uh, not near enough joist in the roof. It's a eight foot structure and they just went four foot and put one in the middle. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put some more joist in here. I think while that one's already in here, I'll leave it there and then I'll split the difference and put one here and put one back there. But that one's actually not in the middle. I may have to slide it down. I'll figure that here in just a second. All right, let's see what we got here. That's definitely not center. Let's do two foot centers and just leave that one in. We'll just leave it there. I think that's good. I'm telling you guys, I'm no carpenter. I'm no carpenter at all. Um, but the thing is, with us, you know, we just jump in and and, and go for it. Uh, I got the kind of the the sink or swim mentality. I'm either gonna sink or I'm gonna swim. And more times than not, you'll find out that you can swim pretty good. Main thing is, is when you're taking on projects is, I mean, you're going to be nervous if you don't, if you've never done stuff like this before, but don't be scared. Seriously, don't be scared. You know what? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Seriously, what's the worst? That this thing's not completely level? I mean, I mean, there's really not much that can happen. If you make a mistake, it's wood. Usually it's easy, fixable. And that goes for anything on your homestead or your farm. If you're just new getting into it or you're thinking about doing this kind of stuff and you're just worried that you can't, trust me, you can. You can do it. And you'll get better and better and better and better as you do more. And plus your confidence level will start going up. You, you, and you'll, you'll figure out your limitations and figure out your limits where you may need some help or you need to call somebody to come help. But for the most part, you can figure this kind of stuff out. I promise. Yeah, I'm just doing two foot centers on the 
on the roof joist there and just leaving that one in there I'm just going to like it it's not even there and instead of just taking it out I got a, a, a rotten stud on that left side wall I'm fixing to measure and cut it go ahead and get it in Got it done. I'm, I'm well. I say got it done. You know, it's it's almost finished. Uh, but do got the roof on. I got all the joists replaced that need to be replaced. Um, it turned out, you know, fairly good. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's plenty of room for the two boys. Of course, we're gonna paint it and all that good stuff. But right now. It's a, it's a lot more sturdier than I thought. Once I got the roof on and the new joist put in and added the extra joist, it, uh, it sturdied it up big time. So we're good to go. Now I think I'm going to work on the fence and get started on the fence and hopefully get a bunch of it done today. I've already had to take a couple of breaks. Seriously, it, you got to be very careful because you will overheat big time, big time. So it's been taking me just a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it's all good. Now, let's get started on the fence. My plan with the fence is, is to make it match what we got going on now. You know, like a rail fence. We got two by sixes here, four by four posts in the ground. And then we came back and just put regular old dog kennel wire, whatever you want to call it, on the inside of it. And we've had absolutely no issues whatsoever with our goats getting out or anything getting in that shouldn't get in. It's been, you know, perfect. And so that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna make it match so, you know, it'll look, it should look good. But before we do anything, I gotta take these uh, fence rails down because my fence is gonna go on the inside of this. So once we pull this fence across, we'll come back and we'll put this um, back over the fence. Finally, help's arrived. I need your help, girl. It's hot. Whoo! Hey, Peach. What about if I hook this pull, hook this tow rope up to you, and you help me pull this fence? That would be awesome. Where are you going? Where? Are you? I swear, diva. Ever since YouTube, just diva. The next day. Day two on Tipper and Toppers, new goat pen. I'm telling y'all, Peaches, you know, starting to be such a diva. She's fixing to be replaced by Thomas. Thomas ain't afraid of work. Are you, buddy? Thomas ain't afraid of work. He ain't afraid to get hot. Not afraid of a little sun. Thomas ain't scared. This little come along does a decent job of pulling the fence fairly tight. Now this is a dog kennel wire, so if you pull it too tight, it'll just snap it into. It's not really a thick gauge, so just be careful with that. But when we come back with the boards, it'll look really nice. You definitely wouldn't want to use just this for a goat fence. No. They, they would get out of it. Rub up against it. So if you wanted, if you weren't gonna put rails on it, then you would get goat fence, which is a way thicker gauge. <laughs> For this side here, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna use our side-by-side, -side, pull it with this, and um, it'll pull it easily. Just gotta be real careful again because this is that kennel wire and then um, it'll easily, you know, just pull apart. Perfect. 
side number two done. Now we're gonna have to hold up on this side because we gotta replace some poles. And this is where the gate's gonna go, so we gotta get all that set up. Then we'll clean these poles and stain them. We gotta get the stuff out of them too. The, Cause they're used poles, so it's got some staples in it and some wire on one of them really good. We gotta get all out. But hey, free poles. Y'all, y'all look coming up the road. Bet you she's been down there looking at my, looking at my work. You got anything to say about it? It look all right? So far so good? So this is what I'm fixing to do. Where I gotta set my poles is out in the sun at the moment. I got some boards that I can start putting on this side which is not in the sun, it's shade. I'm not gonna wrestle with that, with that sun at the moment. A little trick if uh, if you're a newbie, Mrs. Cog Kill has gone to go do some things, so now I'm by myself. If I screw that in and lay this end down, it's just not gonna match up, so I got my mark marked where it needs to go. And I'll just put me a screw right here. And that'll hold my board up while I can screw it in. All right, we got these sides done. Now let's set the pole. That way it can set up concrete. And then hopefully it'll be set up tomorrow evening. We may can finish pulling this, uh, at least finish pulling the um, the fence and uh, put the gate up. Hey Thomas, I appreciate the help today, old buddy. I sure do appreciate it. You know, you're a lot more help than peaches is, I know that. All right, got the pole set. Got a lot done today. So basically, set one more pole, pull the fence, and hang the gate. And then we gotta put the boards along that front side there. Maybe a couple of evenings, we'll get it knocked out. But Tipper and Topper, their place is shaping up. Hey y'all stay tuned for the next part of this. I'm not quite for sure how many it's going to be. If you're interested in any cocky or farm gear like this I can shirt, check out that link right there. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button right down below. We would absolutely love to have you. Y'all, y'all be good.